morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and welcome to our weekly review of how religion impacts humanity. Today's headlines. A Hindu woman was burned alive for having a love affair with a Muslim man. British TV personality Saira Khan received death threats for announcing that she has left Islam. In Scotland, an abuse inquiry has found that clergymen had unrestricted access to abuse children in care with impunity. Children are being taught to behead kafirs with their toy swords. Atheist Alliance International revealed that it has had its database stolen by upstart copycat International Association of Atheists. And we have a reminder to sign the petition for Canadian law to be fair to atheist asylum seekers. Finally, is there life on Mars? On Friday, Atheist Alliance International put out this press release. Atheist Alliance International has had a serious breach of its subscriber data. After subscriber complaints brought email irregularities to their attention, they investigated and found that IAA, International Association of Atheists, a copycat organization started by three former associates of AAI formed in February 2020, had used their data to seek donations and market their organization to AAI's subscribers. After forming IAA and using an unauthorized copy of Atheist Alliance International subscriber data in an attempt to build a following, the new organization then began a sustained social media campaign accusing AAI of misconduct. These unfounded and wholly baseless claims resulted in damage to the reputation and credibility of AAI, which negatively impacted its ability to raise funds for programs that support atheists at risk around the world. To address the data theft, Atheist Alliance International President Howard Berman wrote to the IAA president on September the 14th, outlining the evidence and specified the steps they wished IAA to take to remedy the situation and safeguard their members' information. After Atheist Alliance International had reached out to IAA, their lawyer sent a response which accepted that IAA has the data file in their possession. However, the response also included a six-page confidential settlement and release agreement containing terms unacceptable to the best interests of Atheist Alliance International and its subscribers. At this time, IAA has yet to demonstrably destroy all AAI data and put it beyond their use and certify that none of AAI's data has been passed to a third party. Atheist Alliance International pledges to act with the full force of the law to protect its subscribers' data if this issue is not solved immediately. AAI data is proprietary and cannot legally or ethically be used by third parties. We will be back with our weekly news review at the same time next week. Please like, share, comment, set the notifications and tell your friends.